All right, Time Paradox, Ghost Rider, Chapter Ten. I don't, I don't honestly don't really know what to make of this chapter. It was, it's a roller coaster. So in the last video I made about the last chapter, I was, I was very fearful that you know this series might be coming to an end, and I haven't heard anything personally about an ending. So for now, I'm assuming it's not. Hopefully, um, but then let's jump into this chapter because it goes to a very weird place. The last chapter ended with with Itsuki. Uh, not Itsuki, Tepe, obviously struggling to come up with something uh, to to you know further the story after where Itsuki ended up ended it, and and then the chapter ends with Itsuki finally leaving and starting her own new new manga, and then this this new chapter is entirely focusing on Itsuki, and it starts off a little bit with her backstory. Now, right off, like right from the beginning, when I started her backstory, I was getting red flags because. You know, she was talking about this old man um, that that sits in the park like every single day and has like pretty much every single issue of Shonen Jump with him. Um, and you know, there's a couple of things there, but first thing is that Itsuki says that that's where she felt like that that place was where she felt like most at home, or, like that was the best spot for her at that time. And then there's something like further on in the chapter where she where when like she first meets the old guy. And she's like, there's nowhere in the world for somebody like me. So like, I don't really know what's going on with her because a little girl like that should not be having those emotions. So I, I'm, I'm like, is, is something bad happening in her home life? Now, from what it seemed like when it showed like her in her home at the very beginning of the series, I mean, we didn't really see anything, but it didn't really seem like she was in this super bad situation. But I mean, thinking about it now, what kind of situation would she be in that she can just drop out of school and move to wherever the hell the stories is taking place and just become a mangaka or an assistant? Like what? Like that doesn't make any sense. Like no person with a normal life would be able to do that. Um, especially at her age, she would need the consent of her parents. So does that mean that her parents aren't around? Does that mean her parents just don't give a, like don't care about her? Um, Cause there was another line where the old man asked her if she reads manga and she was like, no, my dad doesn't let me. And, you know, that doesn't really say anything about his dad. I mean, her dad, uh, it could just be that he doesn't let her read manga. Like, it could be as simple as that. But, like, I don't know. There's there's something something about her past that is maybe, like, traumatizing to her or, like, put her in this mindset. Like, for her to want to create something that people can enjoy, um, that everybody can enjoy, maybe that, 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 maybe that means to me that in her childhood... You know, she she did not enjoy anything. Like maybe she was put through a lot of hardships, through a lot of sadness, through a lot of pain. And she doesn't want other people to go through that. She wants people to have like an outlet to be happy. And that's what she wants to make this manga for. And I don't really know if it's ever going to be relevant uh, why she is the way she is. But I mean, there is definitely something more in her in her backstory. Like she didn't have, she did not have a normal childhood. There is no way in hell she had a normal childhood. Um, so yeah, that was just what I got based on those couple of things. They were like big red flags for me. And then another thing about, okay, I won't, I won't get at that. I, I was about to bring up like this, this crazy theory, but, uh, we'll save that for the end, I guess. So yeah, she's talking to this old guy and, uh, I don't know. It just kind of shows her, uh, him showing her manga and her really getting attached to manga. Uh, the guy was apparently a mangaka before. Um, and then one day he's, he's like, you know what? I'm going to become a mangaka too. I want to create a manga that everybody in the world can enjoy. And then she mentions that like the old guy just like stares at her for a little while uh, as if he's just like realizing something that he had forgotten and like he has an epiphany. And then he gives her all the jump volumes and something else, which we'll talk about later. And then th that's like the last time he, she ever sees him. And then it shows like her progress of like, drawing manga more and more and more as she grows up uh, and just working super super hard and then shows her like her base reactions to seeing white knight uh, and then there was like a panel with like calendar dates flying and it showed her with tepe and all the other assistants and then it gets really weird so it shows her having already started anima and apparently she's been first place for the last 30 weeks now i did some math that's like seven months so she's been getting first place for like seven months. Like, what the fuck is Tepe doing? What is Tepe doing? What is happening? 
and the editor was also expressing concerns because none of the assistants were there uh she she's doing all the work by herself and she's like don't worry about it i don't need them i can do a better project by myself uh and the assistant's all worried about her that she's overworking herself and she's like bro leave me alone leave me alone we're gonna do having all our emails or all our meetings through email from now on or i don't i don't i don't i don't, I don't have any time to be spending with y'all um and then it shows her drawing the log she was like yo i was right like taking all my okay this was another aspect in the in, in the chapter her goal like the way she's going to create a manga that everybody can enjoy is that she wants to take out all of her personality um, from it. Um, she admits that personality in manga is good, but if she wants to create something that everybody can enjoy, it has to have zero. It has to have zero of her personality. It has to be something that everybody can get behind, that everybody can see and understand, and not have her biases or, or thoughts in there, right? And it shows her later in the chapter like yo i was right like this is becoming a masterpiece and then it's like wait why am i drawing manga again why did i want to do this and she's like i guess it doesn't matter and then and then uh and then yeah then i had another flashback with that old guy um and then at the very end of the chapter it shows her collapsed on the ground whether she's dead whether she's just passed out who the fuck knows but there's a ton of important things. That was just a quick summary of the chapter. But, all right, let's go back to this old guy. That has to be Tepe, right? He has to be Tepe. And even if he's not, it's very strange that, okay, his behavior is strange. He's an old man going with his manga sitting there. Uh, there was that epiphany he had when Itsuki told him about her becoming a mangaka and what his goal or what her goal is. And I mentioned he gave her something. Yes, he gave her all this manga, but he also gave her a robot, like the same toy robot that, that Tepe had at the beginning. Um, at the beginning of uh, the series, right? That that melted into the thing and became the time machine. <sighs> I don't really know what the hell to make of that at all. Like, is this is this a parallel universe? Is this Tepe? Okay. And another thing that okay, I don't even know. Like another thing with old guys, like when his eyes were looking at her, this could just be like uh the way the character grows but like i feel like his eyes just looked like the same way that tepe's eyes looked you know i don't know yeah, yeah. but uh, another thing is like it just seems too unnatural the way this the way their chapter ended with 30 weeks passing solely focusing on itsuki she's not really acting like herself um she's been getting first place for the past few weeks and then presumably she like dies at the end or she falls unconscious or from overwork or whatever um did that really happen like there was like this weird air about the chapter that made it seem separate from everything else that we've been reading. And it didn't really seem like it was in the same world, if that makes sense. And even, and if it's supposed to be, it didn't feel like that. Um, and, and talking about Itsuki, like why she had that reaction. Well, of course she would, like she's been drawing this manga, but she's not really, quoting any of herself right she's kind of like deleting herself she's like shoving herself into a corner and making herself into a robot that is just objectively creating this manga and you know she's not really even having any social interactions with anybody anymore and if she's been getting first place for the last 30 weeks there's no rivalry there's no rivalry to excite to to bounce off of each other to interact with one another it's just her total domination and you know if it's if it's working then she's going to keep going down that path and she's going to slowly push herself more and more into a corner uh where like no i can't put any of myself into what i'm making i need to like delete my emotions i need to delete my thoughts i need to just draw this right um so of course of course like she she broke down at the end she could not sustain it because we are not machines we are people um 
And I don't know whether she had a heart attack, or whether she was just unconscious at the end again. Who the hell knows? Um, but again, it also showed like a star. That kind of reminded me like Your Name for those that have seen that movie. Um, with And it deals with like time travel and stuff like that. Um, so like, that's another thing that is really like, this chapter is not normal. Itzy's childhood was not normal. The way that old guy acted was not normal. Like. That had to be Tepe, right? And he said that he was once a mangaka that had the same goal as Itsuki. And I think it is known that Tepe had that exact same goal as Itsuki. But apparently this version of Tepe wasn't able to fulfill that goal. Um, now, why is he waiting in that park? I don't know. Like, it, it's just so complicated because if that is Tepe, why is there a younger Tepe now, right? Um, is this Tepe from another future and he came here to like could it all, all be possible that this tepe all right let, let's get some let's get some crazy theories in here what if the tepe that is the old man if it is tepe is from the future where itsuki dies riding white knight and uh for some reason he comes back and and you know no, because that no, that wouldn't make sense because it looked like the Tepe there, like the old man, didn't really have a purpose and he only really realized what he had forgotten when Itsuki said something to him. But maybe then he forgot his memories when he came to another world. I have no clue. Um, I don't know, it's hard. But then, but even if that old man is not Tepe, there's still the connection with the robot. Um, and that, that has to have some meaning. Now, what that meaning could be, I have no clue because if Itsuki has a robot, Tepe also has that robot, but it got melted. Huh. So, I mean, yeah, I guess that could kind of reinforce that Tepe being from another world, if that is indeed Tepe, because if he is from another world, that would be a different Tepe that never ran into the time machine. So his robot would not be melted, but then, okay. So what if we're dealing with three timelines? I just thought of something. So in this timeline, if we're assuming that the chapter we just read is this, is... okay. So the robot, maybe it has some deeper connection because if, if Itsuki has a robot, what if it has been like, what if that robot maybe has like the soul of the old man or something of Tepe maybe, or even if it doesn't, the robot has been like observing, uh, observing Itsuki and her white knight development and everything she's been through or something like that like there has to be a connection between these two robots and I'm just, I'm really grasping at straws here so when I said three worlds I was like maybe the original world where where Itsuki or maybe the original world is just completely separate and Tepe came to this world for some reason or whatever uh and has that robot and then he gave that robot to Itsuki which then observed all of her things and the robot was like nah we can't let this happen so then the robot connected itself to a similar robot that Tepe has in this world and then the time shenanigans started maybe but I don't know that doesn't really pan out does it I'm really grasping at straws here and it's getting more this this story is getting more and more complicated with every single chapter I don't, I'm really loving it but it's like I'm really trying to try and connect it all somehow um and if we assume that this is not separate from the main story and this actually did happen, which I don't think it did, but if we assume it did, like what's going to happen going forward? Um, Tepe could be either dead, I mean not Tepe, Itsuki could be either dead or in like a coma and then Tepe could react to that. But really I think what happened at the end of the chapter is possibly just showing what would happen if Tepe is not able to stop Itsuki um, from from anima becoming the number one manga um now is it a dream is it like a flashback or is it like a glimpse into what could have happened or what already did happen somewhere who knows i don't know well i'm i'm really just getting into the weeds now and there's really nothing else i can say um except for all this nonsense speculation but um i don't know so those were my two cents on the chapter um a lot of a lot of things that were very strange and i was really just throwing theories around that probably made no sense but but uh yes yeah, so that's all i had to say for this chapter um chapter 10 um i'm really thankful because it does not seem like this series is going to be ending hopefully 
um, and I'm loving it still. Um, but uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and uh, drop a like if you liked anything that I had to say. And let me know in the comments, like what, what do you think that this chapter was all about? What do you think the new chapter or the next chapter is going to be like? Um, I don't know, so yeah. bye.